guys, it's MJ with MTech, and today we are unboxing the iPhone 10. I'm super excited about this one. I know that there's a lot of speculation about this device. A lot of people are trying to get their hands on it. A lot of people pre-ordered, didn't get theirs, which is kind of crazy. Um, you know, Apple always has some sort of way to take away uh, stock from stores and put them in their own stores, the Apple stores and all that stuff, which you know what, we're getting used to and it's fine. But with this iPhone, it's super extreme. Um, I'm, you know, I'm one of the people that know for a fact that pre-orders did come in, but not all pre-orders did, um, which kind of sucks for a lot of people, especially people that spent a lot of money and are willing to spend a lot of money on their fo on this phone. Anyways, guys, this is just an unboxing video first. And of course, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, want me to compare it with anything, let me know. Um, I did grab a Pixel 2 as well. Um, I'm using that. I've been using that for my daily driver for about a couple days now, maybe five days after the Note 8. Um, I love the Pixel 2. My goodness, the camera's crazy. Let me let me know if you want to do if you want to see a comparison with the Pixel 2 and the iPhone 10. The cameras awesome. Well, truly good. Anyways, let's jump into it, guys. All right, guys. Here it is. The beautiful box of the iPhone 10. You know, there's a lot to say about this device. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it's Apple's first real jump into, um, you know, changing how the iPhone works, um, how we use it on a, you know, uh, every day. And I think that that says a lot. Apple doesn't really like to change things like that. You know, they like to keep it simple and they have kept it simple. So this is a little bit ambitious on uh, Apple's side, which is exciting. You know, I think it's good for all the consumers. It's good for everybody. I don't think that it's bad for anyone. The one thing I do hope <laughs> that in iOS 12, whatever they're going to call the next iOS, uh, is that the icons do change or we can change them or make a blank screen you know something to do with the home screen i hope that the home screen is customizable and i'm not looking for like android customization i know that that's probably never going to happen but something like down the lines of where i just want to be able to move the, the icons wherever i want i don't want i don't want to just be able to have the exact same icon on the screen and i think that's something you know a lot of people could appreciate um it's just something simple that's not hard to implement and uh yeah i think it'd be great but anyways, guys, I have a bunch of other devices on the side here. I have the uh, iPhone 3GS, which is incredibly small right now compared to this box. I have the HTC Dream, first Android phone, yikes. Uh, again, really small. Um, I have the Pixel right here um, in this gorgeous case. Check that out. Awesome. Let's get into it, guys. Let's do it. So I got the silver, the white. I, I don't know. I, I like calling it white, but... Um, egg white silver it's more of like a whitish silver um, but I got the 256 gig if you can see that right there um, which is super awesome it's a lot of storage I don't know how I'm ever gonna use that storage but I'm too excited guys let's do this let's do it so I have held one and man they feel premium the stainless steel on the sides is awesome I'll just get that out of the way oh man you guys ready I'm ready. I don't know what you I'm ready. Let's do this. I know there's a lot of other unboxing videos online, but man, let's just do it. Put that aside. Okay. Of course, we got the paperwork designed by Apple in California. I know we got all the stickers and everything in there that nobody really looks at, but maybe the stickers are important, but that's pretty much it. Awesome. Oh, oh. you guys ready for this? Oh man, oh man, oh wow, wow, my goodness, what a device, holy, that is awesome, whoa, so the stainless steel on the sides is nuts, that is trippy, very nice, it almost feels too premium, holy, I don't know if that even makes sense, but it really does. It feels very premium um, in the hands, and it feels good to hold. You know, you can't tell you're holding a 5.8 inch screen. You know, like it feels almost the same as like the original Pixel. This has a case on it, and it still feels like it feels the same. It doesn't feel like it's much bigger. That's crazy. We're gonna have to turn that on in a sec. 
Um, of course, guys, you know what we got in the box. Got the headphone jack uh, adapter there that I know a lot of people are losing. I haven't lost one for when I had the 7 Plus or anything, but, um, you know, we got the, Air po the ear pods as well. I don't really use uh, the ear pods. I do have AirPods though, which uh, I'm excited to use with the iPhone 10. See how those work together. Of course, we got the cord. We have the regular brick. I'm not sure why they didn't give us the fast charging brick. Really don't, you know, Apple, I don't know. I don't understand that one. That really doesn't make sense. We should have gotten that uh, with the iPhone 10. Definitely should have gotten that. Um, I can't get that back in. But uh, yeah, I don't know why we didn't get it. That just seems odd. Uh, I think that that should have been a standard and we didn't receive that, which isn't cool. I don't I don't think that's something, that's a feature on the phone, but now we have to pay for that feature. It's almost like the wireless charging. Yeah, we get it, but we don't get a wireless charger with it. I know a lot of the devices don't come with wireless chargers, like a lot of the Android devices either, but um, man, let's talk about this design for a little bit, guys. You know, that's, that's really where Apple has been lacking, right? That's really where a lot of people are like, Where's the design, Apple? Like, yeah, got the same design for four years, bro. Let's yo, step it up, baby. You know, I, I, yeah, I think Samsung is the biggest one. Samsung is just, you saw the Note 8. You saw the S8. Like, yeah, this is just, it seems like they're, they, they were behind. And now they're catching up. And I'm really excited to get, you know, have to be able to even get my hands on this device, which just seems like a privilege right now. Uh, I'm going to turn it on. I just really want to see the screen. Um, and these are truly the fastest, you know, hardware and like inside internals. These are the fastest phones. They really are. I'm not going to lie. I messed around with an iPhone 8. I've messed around with this iPhone 10 here for a little bit. And, you know, next to the Pixel. Oh, man. Look at that. Let me uh, finish my last thought. Next to the Pixel, these devices are, you know, uh, very close. But I know that the benchmarks and all that stuff um, really... <laughs> Um, the Apple kills in that area, but look at uh, that notch is a little, a little weird. I gotta say that is definitely a little odd. Um, not even just from an Android user, but just, I don't know, in general, I would say that is a little odd that that's there. Um, I know I've seen a lot of videos talking about the, uh, videos, uh, when they're actually watching videos on YouTube on the phone. Um, and they, you know, it clips right at the edge there. Uh, I hope that a lot of companies, uh, sorry, developers will adapt to that uh, much quicker than, you know, let's say the iPhone 6 and when that came out and they had to adapt to the bigger screen that didn't really work out so well. Um, and yeah, if you really take a look, I'm telling you, it's like a, it's like an egg white, almost silver, which I love. I really love it. And the stainless steel, this is almost classic Apple. Um, I'm really gonna enjoy this using this. Um, so this is definitely what I'm gonna be using on my day to day. Um, I do have a work device as well, which I think I'm gonna be switching to the Pixel 2. Um, yeah, and guys, there's a lot more coming. I'm gonna be doing a camera test for the Pixel 2 and the iPhone uh, 10, and actually the original Pixel, just because the original Pixel had such an amazing camera. So, and I'm gonna be doing one with the S8 as well. So uh, stay tuned for that. Just for a comparison, I do have an iPhone 7. Look at that, wow, see that's, this is design. This is why that bezel-less, you know, future is coming around. This just feels awesome to look at, you know, it, sorry, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> this feels great knowing that this is our future. You know, um, you know, we had the button here, we had the bezels here. This is bezel-less and be more immersed in a design like this. We really are. I'm going to be doing again the camera test, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I do apologize for my lack of videos. Uh, I did go through a little bit in the month of October, but I'm good. Everything's all good. I'll be back. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to kill it. Um, you know, I'm ready to come up with a lot more videos. Again, I got the Pixel 2. I want to do a lot more with that. If you guys have any questions about that, um, we could do a lot more videos on that as well. But man, this iPhone 10 is pretty. Anyways, guys, uh, you guys keep doing you and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.